All right, elevated folks, you're gonna need this for dealing with all the geek things that we're doing. So we're just gonna give you a quick routine um, to kind of loosen yourself up, get you prepped, and start working on um, making yourself counter all of the, the crunching and the being wrapped up that you're gonna be feeling for the next couple weeks when you're teasing yourself. Start bringing your chin down to your chest, and we're gonna bring your chin over to the side so you're looking over your shoulder. Start tilting the chin back and around until so you're looking over your opposite shoulder and bring your chin right back down to the collarbone. Again, going over to the left, looking over that shoulder, tilt the chin back. Try not to dump into one spot in your neck, try to feel yourself kind of long and reaching, looking over the other shoulder, and coming back down to the chest. One more this direction. Biggest circle you can without pain. If you feel pain or discomfort, you're gonna back off the angle a little bit. Just do a slightly smaller circle. The point is to make yourself feel safe, especially if you do this as a cool down. Go the other way. Chin across to the right side, so tipping the right ear back, looking up, across the room, looking over the left shoulder, down and across. Looking over the right shoulder, tip the ear back, roll it back, over the left shoulder, and down. You have one more, making sure you're still staying in that safe range. Over the right shoulder, tip the ear back, tip the chin back, over the left shoulder and back down, okay? Let's do some elbow cards, but we're gonna do this with a squeeze. So get a little isometric in because you're doing a lot of this and you want to encourage that mobility. So I'm gonna squeeze my elbows in at my sides so that I feel like I'm squeezing something in my armpit. You could even put a washcloth or something under there to give you some tactile feedback. I'm gonna start off putting my hands up, rotating them in. You have these knife hands you've been working with, right? And extending out. I'm not losing the pinch of my elbows the entire time. Come right back up rotate in squeeze back down if you have cracking as long as there's no pain that's fine right back up out i'm keeping tension the whole time let's do three more up out and down two more up squeezing out and down one more up as far as i can squeeze keep the elbow squeeze at the sides keep the armpit squeeze and down then you're gonna roll your shoulders so i'm gonna show you just one side you could do both sides at once or you could work one at a time if you'd like i'm gonna bring my shoulder up to my ear i'm working my shoulder blades gonna squeeze back then i'm gonna squeeze it down in my back pocket and forwards i'm gonna try not to make my neck do things all the way up squeeze it back squeeze it down you notice how my arm isn't swinging a whole lot and bring it forwards i'm like a choo-choo train here where i have the fixed point and the wheel is moving all the way up, reach back, and down. One more, all the way forwards. Scrape that edge up, don't miss any space. Back, and down, same rules apply. If something hurts, you're gonna do a smaller version of it. Reach back, come all the way up, reach forwards, and down. Reach back, up, forwards, and down. Two more, back, scrape that back edge up, Scrape it forwards and down. Keep the elbow straight, back, up, forwards, and down. Other side, forwards, up, back, and down. Forwards, up. If you're doing them both at once, you're just getting more reps. Back and down. Forwards, up, back, and down. Forwards, up, back and down, middle movement from everywhere else. Make sure it doesn't hurt, reverse it back, up, forwards, and down. Scrape the bottom edge back, the back edge comes up. Scrape forwards and down, two more. Back, up, forwards, and down, one more. Back, up, forwards, and down. Okay, so we did some shoulder blade stuff. You're gonna get a little into um, uh, one more shoulder thing, just and one spine thing, and then our wrists, okay? And that'll cover you for probably the majority of things that you need to worry about. So for the shoulders, you're gonna do this. I'm gonna reach back and just do a couple of five second isometrics here. I'm gonna start off reaching my hands back and down, and as if I'm trying to bring my hands, my palms together behind my back. So I'm going squeeze, hold me for five, four, three, two, one. One more time there. Squeeze, five, four, three, two, one. Go a little higher, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, 
one. If you can go higher, go higher. If you need to reverse it and come this way, put the palms of the back of the hands coming together, you can. I'm going to try to go more extension, reach back. Five, four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here and do some axial rotations. So I'm continually reaching my hands towards each other and I'm rotating the joint in the socket. I'm getting a little elbow rotation, wrist rotation, and I want to make sure my shoulders are also rotating, okay? Good. So you can roll that out a little bit. You spent all this time crunched up. We just wanted to open all of it up a little bit. For your spine, you're just going to cross your arms, squeeze your butt to keep yourself in place down here. I'm going to roll myself down. Notice I'm not just bending forward at the hips. I'm trying to roll and elongate my spine. Twist to the left. You're going to side bend to the left, so you're opening up the right rib cage. Try to keep yourself steady so you're moving from up here. You're going to need this motion, right? When we're doing our guillotines here, I'm going to dip myself back and around. Again, I'm trying to feel multiple parts of my back. Don't just dump into your low back. Up and over, twisting to the right, side bend to the right, come forwards, twisting left, side bend left, rolling through the upper back, twisting right, side bend right, my elbow is coming through my hip, and forwards. One more time, twist left, open, around, and twist, down, reverse, twist right. Side bend right, open, roll through the upper back to keep squeezing the butt. Twist left, side bend left, and down, give one more view. Twist right, side bend right, rolling through the upper back. Twisting left, side bend left, and come down, last one. Twist right, side bend right, just keep squeezing the butt, roll through the upper back, twist left, Side bent left, arching the back through, okay? Last thing to help improve your J-hook. So you're gonna go into this position with a fist. You could also hold on to something if you wanted to. Um, and I'm gonna put my hand here, just like we're playing with the J-hook, right? Or instead of being like this, I'm just gonna block this way because it's easier in this position. I'm going to press against my hand here for a light tension pails. Hopefully you're feeling a stretch on this side. If you feel a block on this side, we need to do some mobilizations for you, okay? You can come in and talk to me about that or see a chiropractor. All right, so I'm going to just create a block, press up into my hand for five seconds. So I'm lifting into my hand, just light tension for three, two, one. Then I'm gonna try to go deeper into it. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. And then go back into my stretch where I'm just passively stretching it. Okay, make sure you have some power, you don't feel any pain, you're gonna press back up into your hand and go five, four, three, two, one, pull it down, five, four, three, two, one, and stretch for a few seconds. And one more time, press up, five, four, three, two, one, reach down, five, four, three, two, one. One, stretch and relax. Other side, rolling. Again, hopefully I'm feeling a stretch on this long side. If you feel a catch on, a limiting factor is the, the short side, let me know. And I can be specific with this too if I wanna get into like this more specific position, pulling my elbow across, peeling it down. Stretching for a few seconds here, then we're gonna go into pressing up for five seconds, pulling down three times, ready? And pushing up, resisting, five, Four, three, two, one, squeeze down, five, four, three, two, one, and stretch. Grip number two, lifting up. If I need to back out a little bit, that's fine, just so I can feel some power without pain. And you're working with the nervous system, pushing up for five, four, three, two, one, pull back down, five, four, three, Two, one, stretch. And one more, lift. Five, four, three, two, one, pull this down. Five, four, three, two, one, relax into the stretch. Okay, now you could do this um, every day, this routine. You could figure out, just like Cody was talking about, figure out the parts of the routine that aren't working for you or that you need more work on and work on that more. 
um, the Kin Stretch version of what Cody was talking about, breaking down into pieces that you need to work on individually from the whole, we call those like positional isometrics. So if I found that in my shoulder circle, there was a catchy area, I would work isometrics in that area to strengthen it and get better at it, build it up, and then continue doing that all the way around. Kind of like we did positional isometrics for a comp shoulder extension. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And of course, you can come to Kin Stretch class anytime and get more work. All right. There's your anti-guillotine workout here. Um, there's so much more we can do, but this is a really good place to start um, to both help you achieve them and also relieve you of them a little bit. All right, one, two, three, elevate.